1982, the most famous person was Princess of Wales, Princess Diana. The hotties and fashion icons during this time, to name a few, were Lonnie Anderson, Carol Alt, and Barbara Bosch. Vanity Six released their chart entry single, Nasty Girl. The all-girl trio was put together by Prince, and no, not the Prince of Wales, the singer, songwriter, producer, and actor, Prince, who were known as his protégés. In 1980, Prince suggested to Susan Moonzy, who was a Trinidad-born American singer, to put together a girl group with her sister, Laureen, and his personal assistant, Jamie Shute. During this time, it's said that Prince was dating Susan. They met in 1980 in Minneapolis at a local discotheque. Prince had a very interesting name for the group. His vision was to create a group of three women dressed in lingerie, singing sensual music about romance and fantasy. The trio took a few Polaroid photos with Jamie Shute chain smoking as well as the trio recorded a few demos. Prince was preparing to go on his controversy tour in November 1981. Being that he couldn't fully commit to the group, he decided to put the idea of an all-girl group on hold. The creation of the group he wanted to create was still on his mind. Prince's idea was to create a group like the Supremes but in the 1980s. While he was on tour, he met Canadian model and aspiring actress Denise Matthews. Many have reported the two met at the American Music Awards in 1982. But according to photographer Alan Ballou, who was traveling on tour, Denise harassed the backstage crew on various tour stops to get backstage passes. At some point, Alan eventually introduced Denise to Prince. After meeting Denise, Prince asked her to join his all-girl group and he wanted to name her a certain lady body part, but Denise was not having it, and instead, they settled on the name Vanity. According to People's Magazine, it said, Vanity attended the American Music Awards in 1980 alone, and here is where she met Prince. Prince later called her at 3 a.m., and they went on to date for several months. After he discovered she could sing is when he invited her to join the all-girl group he was forming. The third member to complete Vanity 6 was a set and light designer on his controversy tour, Roy Bennett's wife, Brenda Bennett. Brenda was working on the tour doing hair and makeup. She was once a part of the band Tombstone Blues in the mid-70s. The six behind Vanity was to represent the number of groups in the group. It's been said besides Brenda, Denise and Susan did not have any singing experience, but Susan in fact did have some type of singing experience. Before Vanity 6 was formed, she recorded demos with her sister Laureen and Jamie Shute. Once Prince formed the group that he dreamed of, they got to work releasing their first single, He's So Dull. The single flop fell into chart in the US, but it did chart in Australia, peaking at number 92 and number 44 on the Dutch single Top 100. The single also appeared in The Fume, National Lapoon's Vacation. Their second single, Nasty Girl, didn't chart on the US Hot 100, but it peaked at number 7 on the US R&B chart and number 1 on the US Dance chart. It was also an international hit. The single was featured on the fume Beverly Hills Cop, but it wasn't included on the soundtrack. It was also featured in the 1983 fume Private School. The last single released by Vanity 6 was Drive Me Wild, which was another minor hit. They shot music videos for all three of the singles. On August 11th, 1982, Vanity 6 released their self-titled debut album. It reached number 45 on US Billboard 200, number 6 on the US Top R&B and Hip Hop albums, and it was certified gold by RIAA. This would be the first and final album by Vanity 6. Vanity 6 started to face issues internally. During rehearsals, Prince would leave Brenda in charge and would have her check Vanity's vocals. This caused issues for Vanity as she thought she was the one in charge of the group. By 1983, Vanity appeared on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine alongside Prince in a photo shoot shot by Richard Avdon. The group began to record their single, which was intended for their second album, but the album wouldn't see light. During the production of Prince Purple Rain, Vanity was the star as the lead role in the fume, but instead she decided to walk away from the group and the role. It has been said there are many reasons she walked away, such as disbursements of royalties, Prince being too controlling, and the end of their relationship. But according to Apollonia's interview with DJ Vlad, she shared the reason for Vanity 6 coming to an end. Denise asked for a raise in salary, which was said to be a million dollars by Apollonia, but Prince didn't agree to this, causing him to fire her. But from doing my research, according to People Magazine, in 1984, Vanity shared, quote, I needed one person to love me, and he needed more. 
end quote. After Vanity left the group, she went on to pursue a solo music and acting career, and Vanity 6 was no more. Vanity overdosed on a drug substance and suffered from kidney failure, which almost took her life. After recovering, she was a born-again Christian, dropping the name Vanity and began to go by her name, Denise Matthews. Sadly, on February 15, 2016, Denise Vanity Matthews passed away due to kidney failure. Back to 1983, Prince was holding auditions for the search for a replacement for the role Vanity walked away from. During these auditions, a woman by the name of Patricia Cotero auditioned. She went on to land the role, but she didn't just get the lead role in Purple Rain. She also gained the lead role in his all-girl group that he then renamed Apollonia 6. Patricia Apollonia Cotero is from San Pedro, California, the eldest daughter to immigrant parents from Mexico. At 16 years old, she dropped out of high school to pursue a career in modeling. Patricia's middle name, Apollonia, was how the group name with the signature 6 was created. The single Susan and Brenda previously worked on with Vanity was then released as Apollonia 6 debut single. The single did well on the R&B chart, peaking at number 19. It was also featured in the Purple Rain Fume. They then went on to release their second single, Blue Limousine, which also did well on the R&B chart. Apollonia 6 was also a part of Purple Rain's tour, but at some point a meeting was held and Apollonia was asked if she wanted to continue the group at a sit-down meeting with Prince and the managers. She shared with DJ Vlad, Prince told her before she continued forward with the group, there were some restrictions. She would have to get rid of her dog, she can't have a boyfriend, and she would have to live in Minnesota. She decided not to move forward, and this was the end of Apollonia 6. Apollonia shared she felt Prince did this purposely. He was moving away from anything that had to do with Purple Rain, and was already thinking about new groups to create. But they remained friends. Apollonia 6 released their self-titled debut album in 1984 with seven tracks, but it didn't chart. This would be their first and last album before the group disbanded. After the disbanding of the group, Susan went on to work as a realtor and later owned her own restaurant and became a mother. Brenda became a mother as well and was focused on family life. Apollonia went on to star in CBS soap opera Falcon Crest, playing the role as Apollonia, the girlfriend to the character played by Lorenzo Lamas. She also performed several solo songs including Red Lights Romeo, written and composed by John Lind. Whether you recognize it or not, it has been said all of the women in Vanity 6 and Apollonia 6 besides Brenda all had some kind of romantic relationship with Prince. Starting with Susan, she dated Prince from 1980 until 1985 with an on and off relationship. Then came Vanity, who he dated during the time of Vanity 6. Then Apollonia, who Prince dated as well. But it has been said, Prince and Apollonia Union came to an end at Prince's request. He didn't want her to be known as a woman who dated a famous person. Apollonia then broke things off with Prince. Back when Vanity 6 formed, Rick James made claims of Prince stealing his idea of forming an all-girl group that sang about love, pain, money, and power. But with his busy schedule, he didn't have the time to form a group. James claimed he shared this idea with him during his tour in 1980 with Prince as the opening act. James did follow through with his all-girl group, 1983 Mary Jane Girls. If you're a fan of Vanity 6 and or Apollonia 6, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like content as such, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.